you guys. Thank you for joining Auntie Candy Vegan Weight 30 Day Weight Loss Challenge. Okay, today we're on day five and day six. So day five and six, we're gonna now be breaking out fast. We're not able to eat hip, hip, and hooray. But yes, we're only gonna be eating fresh fruits for day five. Nothing but fresh fruits. Because just remember, we're introducing ourselves to a new variety. So we're giving them fresh fruits. We don't wanna give them nothing artificial, Nothing with sugar on it, nothing with salt. We want to give them something natural. They're just like a baby. You breastfeed a baby, you give them natural milk. Okay, you don't give them artificial milk from a cow because then they're going to continue thinking they taste that first taste, so they want to taste that taste. So we're giving ourselves a new taste. Okay, we're waking them up. So what we're gonna do now on day five, we're gonna introduce, we're gonna do fresh fruit. So we're gonna do a uh, smoothie. So they want for breakfast. And you also wanna intimate, might wanna intimate, intimate fasting. That way you will eat, break your fast like 12 o'clock or two o'clock in the day. But if you can't do intimate fasting, by all means, Today, you're going to be able to eat, and all you're going to be able to eat is as much as fresh fruits as you possibly can. Fill yourself up with the fruits, baby. So we're going to start out. Auntie Candy's going to do pineapple and papaya. Papaya is a natural sweet fruit. It has a natural sweet flavor. So you want to stick with fruits that has this natural sweet flavor because we don't want to put no artificial flavor. We don't want to put anything artificial in here we're introducing our new cells to new fresh fruit so we have pineapple and papaya in there okay then we're going to put a little bit of ice because it's not frozen if you have frozen fruits by all means and you can ice you can buy your you can buy a whole papaya cut your papaya up freeze half of your papaya that way you can make smoothies because fruits go bad very fast if you're buying them natural, okay? So we're trying to conserve money and we're also trying to eat healthy. So you can take half of your papaya, you can cut it up and eat it fresh and take the other half and freeze it. For days like this, when you wanna make your smoothie on the go, you don't have any ice or whatever, you can use that, okay? As we shown in our last video, if you have moringa, we're gonna use our moringa power because you already know a teaspoon of moringa gonna give us all the vitamins and all the nutrition that our body needs. So we're gonna use moringa in there, okay? We're also gonna use a little sea moss. I'm gonna get a clean utensil because I don't wanna put, I don't wanna put another utensil inside my sea moss. And this, when you make sea moss, this is the way you want your sea moss to look. Nice and gelatin. Nice and gelatin like glue. Okay, we're going to put um, maybe, um, that's about two tablespoons of sea moss. Because sea moss is natural. It's going to give us, it's going to help build up our cartilage, our bones. It's going to help tighten our skin up. It's going to help, it's going to give us 92 minerals that our body needs. So moringa and this this right here is gonna make up for a, a food supplement. Right now, this is a whole complete raw vegan meal. You don't need anything else to put with this because this is natural. This is natural. This is all your body needs. So we're gonna put a little um we're gonna put a little spring water of your choice or whatever you like to use in here. Okay, so we're gonna blend this up. We're nice and lovely. Make sure you're investing in your nice and lovely.
You want to blend up your veg, your fruits very nice and smoothy. And you're not worrying about being hungry because we're, we're listening to our bodies. We're transitioning and we're listening to our body. Okay, we're going to only eat. Not when our mind tell us to do to eat. Not when our mind is in desire to eat because we're seeing somebody else eat. We're going to eat according to our body. When our body starts to feel hungry and your body, is, your body talks to you. You got to listen. We don't listen to our body. We listen to our minds because we see somebody eating something. We might smell something that smells good or aroma and say, oh, we want some of that. Okay, now I want some of this. This is a natural smoothie. This has all the nutritious values that your body can need. We have sea moss, we have papaya, we have pineapple, and we have moringa. Okay, this is a nice breakfast. We're breaking our fast and you're allowed to eat. This is a nice breakfast smoothie for your 30-day um, vegan weight loss challenge oh honey i just had to get out a taste right there honey this right here is gonna fulfill you up it's gonna give your body what it needs and not what your body wants okay this is gonna rejuvenate you and fulfill you with everything remember when you're breaking your fast and you're coming off your detox and you're coming off your fast you want to eat something light natural and refreshing and fruits are some fruits are one of the natural things that your body needs is yearning for that sugar and is yearning for that so we're going to wake it up with that natural sugar because papaya is naturally sweet pineapple is naturally see, sweet so we're waking up ourselves and saying yes we haven't forgot about you we know you love that sugar but, but listen, what we're going to give you, we're going to give you some natural sugar. So this is a natural detox, natural drink to help break your fast. Okay, there you go for a breakfast. So for lunch, what we're going to do for lunch, we're going to we're, we're, we're gonna make a nice fruit salad. Because today, all we're going to do is be eating nice fruit salad so here what we're gonna do we have some nice nice oranges they're good citrus help good with your blood sugar bring that up and all those good things we, we, we want naturally fruit so there we go we have we have um we have some oranges there we want grapes in there grapes are good and grapes are nice and natural and we want grapes with seeds in it, okay? So there you go. We got grapes and we have some um, pineapple. Pineapple is naturally sweetened. So we want to put our naturally sweet stuff on there. We're making a nice pineapple. Don't mind. It's, you wash your hands. It's yours. Okay, then we want to insert kiwi. Kiwi is natural and antioxidant. You help build up your immune system, good in vitamin C and all that good stuff. Orange is good with vitamin C and help build up your immune system. So we want, we, that's what we're doing. We keep building up our immune system and all that good stuff. And we have these electrolytes. We have honeydew melon. Honeydew melon is good for cartilage. It's good for your calcium. You say, okay, we don't have any calcium in our diet there you go you can get all the vitamins and nutrition that your body needs in fruits and that vegetables it gives our body the natural nutrition that our body needs and there you go that naturally sweet papaya papaya it helps detox chemicals out your body as well so we're going to insert our our papaya in there and we have our nice blueberries in here right so we have pineapple blueberry we have all these nice fruits so what you're going to do on day five you're going to insert as much you're going to try to eat as much fruit and vegetables you're going to eat as much raw fruits we're only eating raw and we're eating raw fruits okay here's a nice fruit platter that you can make so on day five on your weight life weight loss vegan challenge we're gonna only insert raw 
fruits in our diet all day long. You can eat fresh fruits, fresh smoothies, and just rotate it with any fresh fruits that your heart desire, okay? So that's day five, your fresh fruits, whether it can be smoothies, it can be fresh fruit, you can eat something, you can eat by five or six apples, but insert only fresh fruits because we're giving our body that natural sugar and we're rejuvenate and rehydrating our cells with natural fruit. So there you go. All right. So, on, that, on number day six, so day six, what we're going to do, day six, we're going to be able to eat vegetables. So day six, you can incorporate vegetables and fruit in your diet. So I'm going to give you a I'm going to give you a fruit I'm going to give you a vegetable and fruit diet, okay? I'm going to give you a ve vegetable and fruit diet. So on day 6, you're able to incorporate vegetables into your diet. So we're going to be eating raw fruits and raw vegetables on day 6. That's all we're eating. We're eating raw. Nothing cooked, nothing processed. Anything that raw means anything that comes off of a tree. And when you're breaking your fast, I suggest that you break your fast with fruits. Fruits are the nice, best thing to break your fast with. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to do our vegetable. We have kale. Kale is going to build up our blood because we're trying to build our blood cells up, okay? So cells is going to help build up our red blood cells. We have a little ginger in here. We're going to put ginger in our vegetable smoothie because ginger help, ginger help purify our blood and it helps build our red blood cells up. We're going to give strawberries in there for a taste and we also have blueberry for our natural antioxidant to help um, build us up, okay? So that's what we're gonna use there. And we are gonna also, you can insert your, um, since we have green, you can insert your moringa. Why don't we put a banana? We're gonna also insert, we're gonna insert a frozen, we're going to insert a banana that we had frozen. It's good to freeze your bananas because your bananas, when you put them in your smoothie, is give them nice, good flavor. So we're going to insert a banana in there to give it that thick flavor because you guys are, you know, wanted to eat something now. So we're going to insert, we're going to put a little water of your choice, maybe a half a cup of water because we're eating raw. We just want to insert fruit and vegetables in our diet. And once again, if you have your sea moss and your moringa, you I so strongly suggest that you use a couple of teaspoons of your um your sea moss or your moringa. You can rotate it because honey, that this stuff right here is very powerful and very nutrition to your body and it's is natural and this is what your body is yearning and your body is yearning for because we have forgotten the way that we eat to eat you know this is not the way that we our body has naturally conditioned itself that's why we get sick that's why we get diseases in our body because we're not eating the food that we're that our body and that our culture has naturally Knees. We're just eating what we want. They're just like you might want to go to Burger King or McDonald's because you're hungry. That's something that you want. That's something that you want. That's not something that your body needs. Okay, your body needs natural nutrition. The earth provides everything that our body needs. But you have a choice. You have a choice to eat what you want or you have a choice to eat what your body needs. So you have to make that decision. So right now you have made decision to 
accept what your body needs and not what your body wants. So right now we're going to make a, we have a few smoothies here. We have honeydew melon, we have kale, we have ginger, strawberry, blueberry, and bananas. Okay, this is our fruit. <laughs> This is our fruit and our vegetable smoothie. Okay. This is our fruit and vegetable smoothie for day six. This is our kale. Um, this is our kale, blueberry, sea moss, vegetable smoothie. Day six, you can eat vegetables and fruit. Mmm. Mmm. And everything, oh, that's good. And everything in here is naturally sweetened. And then that ginger, it comes along. It's going to help open up your lungs. It's going to help clear, clear out your lungs and stuff. The blueberry is going to give your body the antioxidant. The kale is going to give your body the iron and the nutrition that it needs. And stuff, the, the melon is going to replenish your cell, give your body the electrolytes that your body needs. So when you're smoothing and you're juicing, <coughs> excuse me, you're naturally getting everything that your body needs. Now, we're not putting any oil. We're not putting any chemicals. We're just drinking natural solutions. So this is your veggie drink for day six. Now, what we're going to do now, we're going to do our veggie lunch for day six. And you're going to be drinking your water. And you're going to be drinking all that nice stuff in between. Okay. So, this is what we're going to do here. We have a salad here. Right? So, we're going to do a salad. We're doing a vegan salad. Because we're inserting vegetables and fruit. So Auntie is gonna make a salad and the store what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a salad dressing with our along with our salad, okay? So we're gonna make a we're gonna make a salad dressing. Okay. So here, day six, we're eating veggies. So we're gonna make a nice veggie salad. So Auntie has on here, Auntie has some kale. I have baby kale, I have spinach, I have baby bok choy, I have all those natural green vegetables because what that's going to do, we're still detoxing our body, but we're eating it and we're drinking it. So what we're going to do, we're putting our kale, our baby pork chop, bok choy, and all that nice stuff on here. Everything on here is raw. So we have our multicolor peppers. These peppers give us antioxidant. It helps with boost our immune system. So when you're not eating and you feel like, oh, I'm not getting the proper food that I should eat, this is raw. We're eating raw for two days, day five and six, we're eating raw. So this is good. This is giving your body all the value nutrition because it's not cooked or anything. So it's raw. So we have our multicolor peppers. We're going to put on our nice green salad, okay? We have a nice green salad. You want to insert as much greens as possible as you can, okay? So there go our nice green salad. We have our cucumbers in here. That's going to keep us hydrated and give our body electrolyte. Keep our body electrolyte. Cucumbers is full of electro natural electrolytes, okay? So research on what your food and the nutrition of your food because we're eating to live. We're not living to eat. Okay, so we're going to give put our tomatoes on here. We have some nice red, yellow, plum tomato, multicolor tomatoes because we're making it multicolor, okay? We're putting all this stuff in here and give it a, give it a good taste. So we're going to use our cauliflower. Cauliflower is nice, good. And nutritious, it helps give you calcium and cleanse your body out. Okay, 
That is that is the cauliflower. So now, the star of the shore, we're going to be making some salad dressing. So for our salad dressing, I'm using the same herbs for my salad dressing right here. I'm using the same herbs that I used inside my salad. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to blend it down with some lime and a little vinegar because that's natural and it's raw and it's going to help keep our body electrolyte and it's going to help cut a little fat on there. So I, what I have in here, I have some avocado because we're going to make it out of an avocado dressing. So I have some avocado in here. I have red onions. I have green peppers and I have um and I have garlic. Okay, well we're gonna put some garlic in here. Okay, so we're gonna toss that in there like that. We're gonna add a little garlic in here for flavor, and we're gonna also squeeze a lemon. We're gonna squeeze a lemon in here. Okay. We're gonna squeeze a little lemon. Let's put that there. Put all our salad there. And we're gonna squeeze. We squeeze a little lemon. We're gonna put a little. We're gonna put a little bit more avocado in here. Because we wanna make a. We're gonna put an avocado in there because we wanna make it nice. And we wanna make it nice and creamy. Okay. So we're going to use, we're not going to use any oil. We're not going to implicate any oil. So we're going to use a little apple cider vinegar in there along with our lime. And we're not going to use any oil or any fattening right there. The little um, creamy here, the, 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 the avocado is going to give it a nice creamy texture. So we're eating raw and we want to, we don't want to, we don't want ourselves to know that we're eating too much of artificial because it's not gonna be hard. We have a nice creamy avocado homemade sauce that we're going to put over our salad. Okay? So you can use any type of, you can use any type of um, vegetables you want to eat today. You can eat any raw vegetables that you like all day today any fruits any vegetables all day today because we're eating raw for day six and day seven you're going to be eating raw fruits on day five and on day i mean day five and day six you're going to be eating all fruits and vegetables this is a nice vegan vegetable salad so you guys might want to implicate nothing but raw fruits and raw vegetables don't forget to drink. Don't forget to drink your gallon of. Don't forget to drink your gallon of water. Okay, and make sure you insert a gallon of water. Okay, so this is all you're gonna eat. You can eat much fruits and vegetables all day. Okay, so that's how that's that's what you're gonna do for day day six. So I hope you guys are hanging in there. Stick in there. Tomorrow is day seven, and we're going to be able to eat a full meal. So you guys hang in there. I encourage you to en encourage you to continue to keep going. Make sure you drink a gallon of water, and in between, you're going to be drinking your, um, your water that you made. You're going to be drinking your um, electrolyte water, your... Um, alkaline water, whatever water you want to do, you're going to drink this at least four times a day, along with your moringa tea, along with your gallon of water, along with your raw fruits and your raw vegetables. So there you go. 
Thank you for joining Auntie Vegan Weight Loss Challenge. You guys hang in there. And if you already haven't, make sure you like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching.